I'm gonna be doing a little painting and soft acrylics. I have soft acrylic pencils. I also have my soft acrylic chalk to set aside here. I have watercolor paper here and we're gonna get started. We're gonna do a little landscape. So let's start with the sky. And I sort of have the corners marked off where my um, palette, where I'm gonna be the painting, the borders of my painting here. So when I put a, a mat over it, everything will be within it. I will go outside the lines a little bit, so if I, it gives me a little room to shift with my um, mat. So and I'm gonna start with blue, and this is a deeper, darker blue in the corners. Paper towels to wipe my fingers because I do use my fingers to blend. And you can see how I can just blend that color in. You can also use your paper towels. If it's a little too dark, you can come in and blend and you can see how that lightens it up a little bit. So you can use, like I said, your fingers or that. Let me darken this corner too. And I'm rubbing pretty hard. I do want a deeper blue in there. I'm going to kind of drag that color out a little bit. You can even take your finger and pick up some of the color here and kind of drag that color out a little bit. Now basically when you're doing this, I do have white, but for the most part we're going to try to leave the white of the paper so if we do any clouds we will leave the white of the paper. Alright, I'm going to pick up a little lighter blue, it's just slightly lighter, and I'm going to come across here. a little different color here. I'm gonna kinda. It's a little more of a grayish in there. And I'm gonna go even lighter than that. So now I'm gonna start picking out some clouds. So I'm gonna kinda go around area where there are some clouds, maybe underneath. All right. And I'm gonna take that color, fill some of the areas in. pick up an even lighter paler blue and just kind of down in this area come in and remember you can always darken a color or an area so I try to stay oh as light as I can And then I can come in and always add more. I'm going to pick up some pink. This is sort of a bright, that's more of a red here. My pink. And right in here, on the base of these clouds, I'm going to add some of the pink. Get a little colorful sky in here. Maybe, maybe a little bit in there, not too much. Then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna add some pink along the horizon. Right. I'm gonna 
pick up a little bit of yellow. Oh, get some of my deeper yellow. Some of my colors are dirty, so I'm gonna kinda clean it off. Right on the bottom, I'm gonna add, and don't get it too close to the blue because you, otherwise you're gonna end up with green. But I'm gonna keep it below the pink. Maybe there's, the sun had just gone down or, or it's getting ready to come up and it's got a glow in there. Okay, before I go and darken some of that, which I'm going to, I'm gonna take my white, and here's where I'm gonna, I just kind of clean it off a little bit. Here's where I'm gonna define my clouds. And I'm just doing a little circular motions in these areas. And up in here. You can even go up into the blue. If you go up in the blue, make sure you clean that edge off. You can see how that lightens that blue. Get down in here. And just like my finger, you want to get dirty the edge and cleaning that off. Maybe along in here above this pink. There's some white. All right. I'm going to make sure my fingers is fairly clean. I'm going to come in and kind of rub that in a little bit. Bring it down into the pink. Pull some of that excess off. Okay, I'm gonna kind of dust it a little bit Get in here, right along here. Now I can come back in, my middle blue, maybe in here. I'm very lightly, fair, barely I'm touching it and just letting the weight, almost the weight of the chalk come in. You can see how I can darken areas now that I've got my clouds picked out a little bit up here. Take some of your darker blue, maybe up along the top here a little bit. Mix those together. Let's see how those two mix and it sort of darkens it up towards the top. Maybe in here a little, a little bit of this underneath. Dark with my white. Little fuzzy cloud. Right in there. I can even take a little bit of my pink. I just got a little bit of my pink on my finger. Just give it a little bit of color on the bottom. And with the blue, it turns almost a lavender. So I'm going to come back with my. Like I said, it's very light touch. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my pink. I just have my pink here. I'm just running my finger along it. So, so you can see what I'm doing. And just like on the bottom. And I'm actually going into the blue a little bit so I get a little bit of that lavender color. Kind of straighten that line up. Over here, I just come in, lighten some areas in there. And so you can see, you can go over the dark areas. You're never going to get pure white. That's why. You need to watch the areas where you do have, but you can see there's 
a little bit of lighter color here, a little bit of cloud. Down here, a little bit, and a little bit of the pink. And then we're actually going to go up into the base of the cloud. Let's bring that down, kind of. at the top of those clouds and I'm pushing fairly fairly hard okay. a little bit of color in there a little color coming down here we'll get a little more pink right on the bottom You can see how you can lighten and darken areas and you can work back and forth. I'm gonna go there. I think I'm gonna add a little pink right in there and come back with the white here. Almost as if it's almost two clouds and just a little touch of the blue, not much. Just Sort of a there. And sort of almost if that was two clouds almost overlapping each other. There. And I'm gonna come out with some of the white, lighten some of that up. Alright, that's looking pretty good for a sky bring a little over here just widen it out my mat's gonna come probably from here to here but sometimes I have a tendency to move it a little bit this way or that depending on what I put in what type of trees all right so we've got basically a sky come in we can work that a little bit if we want Okay, along the horizon, I'm going to take a little bit of my purple, and I'm going to kind of, maybe some rolling hills, just and I'm going to get a little bit of color in there, it's very light touch. do the same thing. I'm going to add some color. And these are more just little, little rolling hills way off in the background. Take a little bit of the white. And that just lightens the side of the mountain that's the light is hitting. And it kind of brings it down. I take some of the gray and even a touch of the blue, some of that blue that was in the sky. The combination almost giving it a shadow side. Same thing over here. More of the gray. Touch of the blue. Not much of the blue. I just want to 
change up the color a little bit. Just all right. Down the bottom, and I'm just gonna go across. Basically, yeah, I want a little, little light color here, but kind of misty. So we got that. I'm gonna come in and let's get, oh, where's my deep? Here it is, my deep green. It's almost a bluish green. And in here, I'm just kind of hitting and missing, just up and down, almost as if there's something growing back here, whether it's trees, bushes. Can even come up the mountain a little bit. And I'm just, and it's basic straight up and down. Some of them are a little more crooked, but basically it's straight up and down. And every once in a while I lift it, it up. And I want to leave a little bit of mist in there. Yeah. This one's going up. And if that's going up, I'm going to bring these down a little further. kind of a little high in the mountain, but I'll lift some of it off. And if there's a little bit of green showing there, that's fine. Maybe there's some grasses up on the mountain. Come back in. So you can see if you get a little too high on it, you can always go in and do a little repair. All right. Below it, I'm going to kind of Go across and it sets them down. I take some white just here and there, just pull it up. That just kind of lightens a few areas so they're not all completely uniform. They're all, all right. So we got a line here mountains. I know I went off over here, but the mat's going to be basically here. Let's go in and we're going to, oh, let's pick up a little bit of that lighter blue. Where is it here? And just a little water in here. I'm going to leave it light in the center, but I'm going to kind of bring the blue. And when you do water, keep the line straight this way. Water lays flat. You can even do a zigzag, but you kind of try to keep it almost as straight as possible. All right, let's clean my fingers. Run those across, and then I'm actually going to take a little bit of the blue on my fingers. I do want a little color in here, but I want it so light you can you look at it and say, "Well, yeah, this it's blue, but it's more white than blue." And then I'm going to take some of my darker blue. And then over towards the edges, I'm going to darken over here a little bit. Let's see how I bring that in. And I may come down further with it. But that, so far, this is fine. Or I may bring some bushes up. But it can work it. I want to put a little bit of the pink in it because there's some pink in the sky. So right in here just not everywhere just because there's kind of scattered i'm just kind of a little bit here and there and right through the center so so you can see just a little bit of that 
you can even take, where's my yellow? Oh, the hair. You can even take a touch of the yellow just up here because you can see a little bit of reflecting down there. I don't want much. Okay, just a little bit of that. All right, so we got some water going. We can also take, since there's water right underneath these trees, we can go back to our green and just kind of pull a few just along the lake right in here. You don't have to work all the way out because we're gonna have grass over there. Not much, just a little bit and kind of pull those down and kind of go across. All right, so now we've got some reflections. Don't lose all the lines. Don't rub it so hard that you lose the lines. You want some straight lines. You just want to go across so it looks more like reflections and it's not as uh, stands out as much as this. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a corner. I'm going to get a taller one, kind of back and forth. Kind of blur that out a little bit. And you can even give a taller in the water, but very, very lightly. Maybe here there's a taller one. And you, here, of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to have water, but it's just sort of broken up here. Okay. And maybe right here we'll have one. Maybe we'll have two. And Give it a little top. I lost the top there. All right, and they're just kind of blurred out a little bit. So just some of details. We're going to put some taller ones out there so you may not see it. All right, I'm going to come back in with, where's my middle green? Here it is. I'm going to Put some green in here. And I'm going to get some green on my finger. And I'm even going to pick up some of that deeper that we did with that. A little bit back here where it's coming out more in the shadows. I'm going to take some brown. Where's my brown? There it is. Put a little under. And right here, I'm going to kind of put a little more shadow there. And that's going to come out there. And that's going to come out there. This is the darker, just defining that shore a little bit more. And a few more evergreens back there. We're going to put a bigger evergreen over here, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And like I said, I can take a little bit of the brown, just kind of maybe shoreline there. And I can even take some of my white, kind of. Put a water line there. In fact, I think I'm going to come along and kind of put a water line along here. In fact, you can even take a little bit out here. I'm going to come in. Here's a little darker area coming out below that. lighter green and by changing up the colors and stuff it gets it vision of light and dark hitting so we've got some shoreline there we're going to take some yellow 
the yellow I'm going to do more the closer you get to it because the closer you get the more you're going to see color and so maybe you get a little light shining to think through there here I'm going to kind of maybe some bushes are growing there Some grasses, something going along there. Just kind of breaks that up. I'm gonna put a tree here. Just kind of draw a line down. And just sort of back and forth. And I'm not filling everything in. I wanna come in with a lighter one as well but as I get down I'm gonna actually put a lot more darker down towards the base of it because of course that's gonna be in more shadow and and I'm not blending it real well I'm gonna take my slightly lighter one and I'm gonna come over top and I'm not covering up all the dark just adding some more branches in. And then I'm gonna actually come in the bright, bright green and mostly on the side that would, the lights over here. So mostly on that side, a little bit on the other, but. All right, so I've got a tree in there. This time I'm just gonna kinda smudge a little bit, not, not much, I want the detail. So we've got one. And I'm going to put another one here. And basically, and it's going to be slightly shorter. So the same thing, more is darker, darker, darker as you get to the base. We're going to put a little bit of the lighter, fill some of that in. And then the real light, add some of that. And if you want, you can even come in with a little bit of yellow here and there, just to kind of lighten up a few spots. But I think that looks pretty good. Underneath, I'm gonna put some more grasses. And bring that grass right out into the water. And I'm even going to come in, I've got my pencils here, and I'm going to find, where's the green? And pull some grasses up. And I'm even going to take a little bit of yellow to those grasses. And you can see how you can get a lot of more detail with these pencils. That just lightens it up. I'm going to set that down. A little bit of grass underneath. And you can kind of smudge that out. I'm going to get a slightly lighter brown color. Almost the color of sand. I actually put a little sand along that shoreline. And come back in with my greens. Add some grasses along there. And you can see you can even leave some of that lighter, not quite white of the paper, but lighter areas there. Of course, when you go and smudge it in, I'll cover some of that up see but you can see how you got a contrast in there you can even come in with a little bit of the yellows in there just a little bit of that that come down kind of set those down by just going all right so we got a little shoreline there I'm gonna take some of the Blue, where's my blue? Put a little 
blue under there as if the water's coming up to the shore. All right, we're here. I think I'm gonna put a big bush. I'm gonna start with down at the corner and bring in the bush up, grasses. Get it a little lighter so light hits it. Even lighter. And I'm kind of smudging it out. Let it kind of sit down there. And I'm going to come in my pencil. some of the smaller grasses. Maybe I'm going to take a little bit of my blue. Let me get my blue. Maybe, maybe that water comes right there. Maybe it's a little swampy there. These are more of the swamp grass. You can even throw some of the blue in with the grasses. I'm going to take a little more of that sand color right in here. Just make it look like there's a little sand there, bar there. You can even take and add a rock or two. And on top of that rock, put a little highlight. Play around with that. You put stones in. I even have the pencils. You can put some little stones. Come in. I even have a white one here that I can use for a highlight. You can even do some more. Let's throw some grasses around it, growing up. That kind of sets them in. Sets them in the grasses. So there's some stones coming down, a little beach area. So, and you can even throw a little sand down here. Now I doubt if my um, mat is gonna come down that low, but you never know. We may move it up or down. All right, so we've got this side pretty much done. So how about if we start working on this side? On this side, I think we're gonna do sort of a rocky shoreline. So I'm gonna put some rocks coming in here. into the water. A little highlight over on top. And then I'm going to take the white. And now on the base, a little darker. some of my darker grasses. I'm not going to pull them up too high. I want more of a medium. And I'm going to pull that sideways. Wipe my fingers off. I'm going to take my pencils for more detail work. So I'm going to kind of pull that rock back and you can see how it's getting darker. And get my, uh, there's 
Mr. White. Even get a little bit of the lack. Down at the base, sort of darken it. That kind of sets it down. And And then I'm going to pull some of these other grasses up. And we're even going to put a little sand or something down here along the shoreline. And we're going to pull some grasses up around them. All right, and then we can come back. these grasses down. And here, I'm going to put a little shoreline along there. Here's my stuck in there a little bit then. It goes back, maybe some shadowing back there. And we're even going to put a little shadow out here. Where's my blue? And then here, I think my darker blue. Here we have some darker cake. Maybe the water's coming over. some dark back here. Clean my fingers here. And the water's going to kind of bubble up under here. some shadows under it. And then the water's gonna kinda go out from there. And then it's gonna come over here. And then it's gonna have some over here. And then let's get some stones here. We got a nice stone here. my blue so you can see the water coming along there. and we're gonna need a something another stone here pull that right back and we'll put some grasses here in here. 
So we got a little waterfall there. And let's get some details in here. Some brown grasses in there. I think over here, we're gonna have a big tree too. And just pull it down. Same thing that we did over here. Kind of back and forth. And darker, darker, darker as we get down here. And another one here. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I can do a small one here. Lighter color. And then down here, gonna have some shadow. And where's my grapes? Some grass is going down there. Oh, let me do some yellow. Some browns. So we've got different grasses going down. And where's my blue? Right in here, a little the water coming through there. So we've got ourselves a nice little, let's just get those bottom a little bit. We get ourselves a nice little painting, a little waterfall. I think we're about finished. So I think we're going to sign that one. Out there. Let's go get our mat. It says we can move it a little that way, a little bit this way. We can go down a little bit. But I think we got a nice painting there. I hope you enjoyed this one.